my first ever Doctor Who toy review of the character options Jadirin Scanner. I got this a couple of hours ago now. I've been playing around with it and all sorts. It's really good. It's really fun and it's great. And there's, I'm going to now show you a couple of things about it. The first thing is, of course, this lead um, invisible ink tool, um, pen. It really works well. Um, I'll show you something I did earlier. I've got some big Peter now. <laughs> Hold on. Watch. If this works. Hold on. Oh, that says Doctor Who. Mm. Did it work as I expected? But and it does. This, if you don't like having to write with the whole thing, you twist, you just twist, and then this little, this little thing comes out, which is like a mini little kind of pen. Also, this helps if you want to, if you lead to, if your ink thing is is ran out, you can go to the, the character options help desk, and they'll give you a new one. Another thing is the detail. The detail is absolutely great. Um, there's a nice little purple, purple thingy here, like lines, and you've got like the silver there. You've got really good patterns. Here's black lines, and then a nice red, lovely red that is. And then of course you've got this, which is quite. It looks kind of like a pen in itself sort of um the light is really really bright and it, it's just, it, it kind of turns off and on it gets brighter and not brighter and brighter sort of like a very light edge scanner also this you can increase it to setting two it doesn't actually change the noise but i guess it's like a little play thing by doing that and then that's been Sort of increase <laughs> and then what you want to do if you want to change the batteries if any of you have got this but don't have a clue how to change it you twist it anti-clockwise and then yank it when i first got it i didn't really want to yank it in case i broke it but you just have to then you're left with this and then you unscrew this little bit here you put the batteries in screw it back in and then you, you can test it just to see if it works by pushing the little black button. Obviously mine works. Then you then what you do is you look on your to do scanner little model thing and you find the black dot. Now you then match the black dot from here and on here and try and get them the same way, sort of. Like that. And then you twist till it goes down. And then you click. To see if it works by pushing that button, and it does, then you know you've done it. Another thing, I think this is really cool. I I've just been I've been messing around with it, and one of the things I found out if you take this out and then that out, then <laughs> this is so cool. It's just like a telescope. Hmm. Hello, can you see my eye? Don't know if you can, but <laughs> alright, mate. It also, it makes a great lightsaber. <laughs> Which is cool. And uh, I really think the Jadoon scanner is fabulous. Yeah, I rate it 10 out of 10. It's almost just as good as my. I think it's just as good as my Sonic screwdriver. Yeah. As I said, it. Also, just come with this little notebook, which can be used as like compensation. But that you do use, I think. Yep, I think this is gonna. This is probably one of the best ones um, they've probably done so far. And hopefully, I'll soon get the laser screwdriver and then do a review on that. Mm. But before I go, like I said earlier on, something about I like the laser screwdriver. I wanted to show you something very new, like it said on my description. Prepare to meet my newest prop. The destroyed sonic screwdriver. This is the broken sonic screwdriver. 
I mean, the noise still works, and it kind of faintly sort of like lights up. Not very well. I got one of my really old, what I did is I got one of my really old Sonic shoes, I've got that for um, What I did is I just went and found it, and then I literally smashed it up. Flew on the floor, I got like a little screwdriver, and like, eh. And there you go, I'm going to use that as a, this will help really, especially when I, the Sonic shoes breaks and stuff. So, there you go, hopefully I'm the first person who's done that. Will be, uh, but I can't say that. Uh, I'm going to be... Um, in trouble now because I bet someone's going to go, oh, I've done that. Anyway, the next thing is, of course, it's box packaging. The Jujuna Scanners box packaging. As you can see, of course, will be a picture of the Jujuna. The, the, obviously, the Doctor logo. The Jujuna the Scanner really, really light and pen. There's all of that. On the side, there's that. On the other side, of course, there's this is the same. On the back it's got description about the Judoon, description about the actual scanner, it says featuring, you've got and the Judoon scanner picture and the notebook of what it's doing, you've got you've got where to find them, a bit of information, some contents, a bit of a warning label. Uh, of course always look out for when you're buying Doctor Who toys, if you have anything. The official Doctor Who little glowy logo. It's a picture of the TARDIS. It's silver and it glows. If you find that, then you've got an official thing. So I rate the Sonic Screwdriver. Um, no, not the Sonic Screwdriver. The Jadoon Scanner. I rate the Jadoon Scanner. Ten out of ten. And hopefully this went up wow as the first ever review I've ever done. So if you like it, can you comment, post a comment? That reminds me, on my previous video um, I've done about the comment competition, um, I don't know if there's any comments on it yet, but yeah, keep commenting on that if you want. You can watch it and then you'll see why I'm asking to comment, because it's like a little thing. So then, thanks for watching my Jadoon Scanner review. Jadoon review deceased. Over and out. Bye. Adios.